Hello, welcome to this TTK tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reproduce one of the examples shown in the gallery section of the TTK website. So let's go there, here. In particular, I will show you how to reproduce the Dragon demo here. So for this, uh, you will first need to open a terminal, like I did here. And I will assume that you downloaded and decompressed the TTK source code and data tarballs to uh, the following directory here. And of course, that you successfully installed TTK. So we will go to the uh, data directory with this command, and we'll enter this command to uh, launch the Dragon demo, and hit the key Enter. All right, and here we go. So what this demo is showing is just a toy example. So this is a uh, triangulated surface with a height function defined on it. So blue corresponds to low values and uh, green to high values. And on top of this uh, color map, you have some um, spheres here uh, that represent the critical points of the function. So in uh, blue, you have the local minima, in white, the saddles, and in green, the local maxima. On the next uh, top right corner, you have uh, the persistence curve, which is a uh, representation of the distribution of the pairs of critical points as a function of their persistence. And uh, if you go from left to right in this curve, uh, you look at the persistence, the number of persistence uh, of critical points pairs that are more persistent than a given threshold. As you increase this threshold, less and less pairs of critical points are persistent, and at the end you have only the main features of the data. So this describes uh, the distribution of the critical point pairs. Another way to look at this distribution, uh, which is slightly more informative, is uh, the persistence diagram that is shown here. And this diagram is defined in 2D, and each vertical bar here corresponds to a pair of critical point, and the extremities of this bar are the critical points. And here the x coordinate of this um, bar corresponds to uh, the data value of the critical point which created this pair, and uh, the y coordinate of the um, uh, critical point here up top corresponds to the data value uh, that corresponds to, um, to the critical point which destroyed the pair. Okay. And finally, here you have a representation of the uh, counter tree of this uh, data. And the counter tree is a uh, sort of skeleton of your scalar field that contracts connected component of level sets to point. Okay. So what is interesting about this demo is to click here on the persistent threshold uh, element of your pipeline. And here you can increase uh, the level of topological simplification of your data to uh, progressively explore the features uh, as a function of their importance. So here, let's say that we only want to see the features that are above a persistence of 10. And let's click on Apply. And this uh, will uh, update the entire visualization. So in the persistence diagram, we only show uh, the pairs that are above this threshold. And here are the critical points also in the main view um, we only see those that are more persistent than this threshold. And finally, the counter tree does simplify some branches. We can go back to a much smaller version of this threshold, which is closer to the original data, and we'll have much more noise. So noise is apparent in the diagram as uh, very small bars uh, that are very close to the diagonal, and um, as several uh, spheres here on the, uh, on the main view, and many branching here in the counter tree. So let's go back through to the original value here. And there we are. Okay, so now I will show you how to reproduce this example from scratch. Okay, so let's clear this and let's enter the following command to load the Dragon dataset. Okay, click on apply. So, to uh, apply some processing um, on this data, you can click on Filters, and here, these menus, you can access uh, all the TTK features organized by category. 
Uh, what I'm going to do instead is to uh, use the search menu, which is a faster way to access those guys. And in particular, I will always use the control space keystroke uh, to have this menu pop up very quick. Um, under macOS, this is a different keystroke. So let's click here and we want to search for geometry. Let's apply this and we're going to smooth the geometry a bit with three iterations, it's enough. Then you want to click on the apply button again to go faster. Uh, there is a keystroke under Linux which is Alt and the key A to uh, apply to click on this button. So let's do this. And here the geometry is slightly smooth. Good. So now we're going to uh, compute some elevation function of this data, the elevation filter. And we'll use the Y axis here. And from the range we'll go to uh, 100, let's say, like this. Okay. So now we'll have a look at the topology of this data. And for this, we'll compute the persistence curve. Like this. Apply. All right. So this filter um, has four outputs, and by default, Parview wants to open them all, but one is enough here. Okay. What we want to show is uh, the persistence as the x axis, and we want to see uh, the number of pairs. We want to zoom out a little bit here and select this portion of the plot. Oops. Do it again. Like this. Perfect. We want to use a different color. Let's use this guy. Make the line thicker. Like this. And here what is important is that you want to show uh, the uh, left axis and the bottom axis with the log scale. So you want to make sure that this box here is checked. And then you can change the titles of those um, uh, diagrams here. Left axis and here, uh, bottom axis. Okay, so now we'll split this view to show the persistence diagram and we we'll create a random view in 2D here by clicking there. I will select the data, elevation, and uh, search for the persistence diagram here. Like this, and I will apply. And here it is. So the persistence diagram at first is just a set of edges. We can enrich uh, this visualization though. First we can uh, display uh, the axis and here we can click on edit to change the title of the, of the diagram. Here birth and death is okay. And now uh, we improve uh, this visualization. We'll call some thresholding here and we'll only select here uh, the pairs with a negative identifier like this. This corresponds to the diagonal that we want to display with the distinct color. We want to display this with a tube, but in order to do this, we first need to extract a surface representation to convert this to a surface representation with extract surface like this, and then compute a tube like this. Perfect. We want to change its color. And there we go. Next, we want to extract the uh, actual persistence pairs. So those with uh, non-negative identifiers, let's call this persistence pairs. And here they are. Additionally, we want to do some thresholding on this persistence. Let's select persistence here. Let's say, uh, I'm going to use 100. One, sorry. One is not much, let's put 10. Okay, we uh, so, so simplified. Uh, a lot of this diagram. Let's call this persistence threshold. Okay, now we want to represent the critical points with a sphere, so we'll call the sphere from point plugin. But this size I think is enough. Oh, it's probably too small. Okay. This 2.5 probably. Okay, we'll color those spheres by uh, node type, and this is the same uh, color scheme as before, maxima in green, uh, minima in blue, and uh, join and split saddle shown in, uh, respectively in uh, uh, light blue and light green. Okay, now we want to uh, make those guys uh, a little bit bigger, how about this? Yeah, 1.5. Okay. 
Now we want to show this guys with a tube. So extract the surface and then a tube. Let's put this 075. And there we go. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to uh, simplify the data here on the left such that it conforms to uh, this persistence diagram here. So we'll go here and select the elevation data set and call topological simplification feature here. And here we'll say that the data that we want to simplify is defined on this guy, elevation, and the constraints are defined on this guy, persistence threshold. So we want to uh, make sure uh, that the function is constrained to this persistence diagram. Let's click on OK. What is important here is to use the vertex identifier field because the persistence diagram is marked with this guy, which will help the simplification to understand uh, which critical points must be preserved. And here we click on Apply. OK. And now we'll compute the critical points of this guy. And what is important here is to check this box, use input offset field, to make sure that uh, the Scala field critical point plugin understands well the simplified data. Then we click on apply, and then we'll present those guys with spheres, like this. Okay, let's put this in color, and here it's the same color scheme, blue, saddle, and max. Okay, right on. So now, uh, we'll make this view bigger, like this. And uh, we'll have a look at the count tree. This data, this, this will look at the simplification here. So you may want to make sure that the two views uh, behave uh, the same with a camera movement. So you, you want to do a right click here, click on link camera, and click on the other view. And those two views will be uh, linked together which is uh, convenient sometimes. All right, next we'll use this simplified data and we'll call the contour forest plugin to compute the contour tree. And again, what is very important is to make sure that you click on this check box to make sure that the contour tree understands that the data is properly simplified. And now we click on apply. And there we go. So here we have segmentation We'll put that into transparency, like this. And, um, okay, we may want to show the edges with this guy, like this. All right, let's put this more transparent. Okay, for the nodes, we want to put some spheres, like this. Let's put two. We want to color them by their type, like this. So the color scheme here corresponds to this on the persistence diagram. And for the arcs of the skeleton, we want to use tubes, like this. These are a bit big. Let's put 1.5, 1.25, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 